So we have here one of the uh, Sonoff T1 with three channels. So it's a really nice device. Um, so you can actually have three channels controlled with this as a drop-in replacement for a light switch, for an American light switch. So there are also European versions, but uh, we have American light switches here, so I will put this in. Um, it comes with its own software, so you can right away connect it to your Alexa or so on, but I want the, my own software on it, so you can actually flash it and put IoT and power on it. But for this, we have to open it up. And there we go, see? There are the buttons, so we don't need this, and there you see you have an ESP in there. And you have to take this out, it's light. Has a nice little socket in there. See, and there it flips in. So we take that. And so now we have to put new software on this here. And we can do this with these nice uh, ports here. You see, we have actually the other way around. We have VCC, RXD, TXD, and ground. We have another ground because we need that for flashing. So I need a plug which goes in there. And I've prepared something. And we need an FTDI adapter, so that looks like this. And so we have here our special ground. And so I basically took one of these connectors you find everywhere and put in uh, and took one out one of the pins. And now I can actually, if this is this way around, and just put things in here. There we go. So, so we are lazy and we're not soldered, it, so we need kind of some tension on it. So I will later just press against here, and then this is enough to have all the connectors there. So if we plug this in, so this is actually has a USB connector here. So plug this into my computer, and then you see that it starts booting, and it's kind of in um, its normal operation. So it has this blinking thing. Uh, I'm there that it searches for the Wi-Fi, but uh, we are now not in flash mode. We have to first get it into flash mode. And for getting it into flash mode, now switching to let you see my computer screen. And here you see on the Tasmoda website which pin you can actually shorten to get it into uh, into flash mode. But for this, you have to first unpower it. So I'm unplugging the USB. And now I am doing it like in the picture. So important is we use the middle finger to press against it. We take this one to press against there. And let's try again, plug it in again. Yeah, now it's right. So you see that this one lights up and the other LED actually doesn't light up. So it's not flash mode, we can release this cable, but still use your middle finger to press uh, these up there. So, and now we can flash again. So now I go here back to my screen, and now I flash this program here. Let's kind of show. So this is the program from IoT Power for the Sonoff T13. It's in the examples. And uh, so you have in the node.conf, you need to define that it is a Sonoff you flash. And in setup, I have three buttons and three relays. And now we just adopt this guy, serial. And it compiles it. It can take a little longer in your case. It has, I have compiled this before, so that's why it's pretty fast. And see, now it's uploading. It's really important that you unplug the USB before and then plug it in while you have the flash port connected. The nice thing is now after this, the adoption will work and most of the things will work. You always have to still hold this so that you have this one finger which presses the pins against the pins so that the flash can succeed. You only have to do this once. After this, we can do everything over the air. Were we successful? Yes, we were successful. Great. And now it reboots and has the same blinking as uh, IoTM power. And with this, we can reconfigure if necessary. Mm -hmm.